I'd like to now officially introduce Charlotte Hornets co-chairman and governor Rick Snall and co-chairman and alternate governor Gabe Plotkin. Thanks, Dell. This is a little intimidating. So <laughs> this is a great turnout, so we appreciate that. Um, look, we are, we are thrilled to be here today representing uh, the new ownership group of the Charlotte Hornets, and um, uh, we couldn't be more excited. I want to thank everyone for, for coming out. Uh, we have some civic leaders uh, here from the city of Charlotte. Uh, we have members of our management team. We have some players. We appreciate that. We have our basketball leadership and our business leadership and our coach, Coach Cliff, Mitch, Buzz, Fred, I see them all here. So we appreciate that very much. Um, uh, I also have, and I want to introduce, we have some of our owners sitting over here to my right. Uh, and um, we, we only represent a small, small group of, of the ownership group. There are 20 of us, but we have a, one of our uh, local owners here, Damian Mills, who owns Mills Automotive Group. We have Chris Shumway who will sit on our executive committee. We have Ian Loring, uh, and we have uh, country singer Eric Church here with us today. So I uh, wanted to welcome them uh, as, as, as we are up here, but we do have a, a great group of owners that we are representing. Um, and we are, we are a local group uh, of owners. We have a number of, of local owners. We also are a, quite a diverse group of, of owners. Uh, first thing I wanted to do is thank Michael. Uh, Michael uh, obviously is uh, the greatest basketball player of all time. Uh, he's been an incredible uh, partner to us during this negotiation. Uh, and he obviously has set this business up for future success. So we wanted to thank him for all that he's done for the franchise. We also wanted to thank him for staying in with us uh, as, as a minority partner. And so he, he's, not, he's not leaving. Uh, and he'll be around here hopefully for a long time with us and as a partner. Um, you know, it's funny, I met Michael uh, 20 years ago as a participant in his fantasy basketball camp. I turned 35 and someone told me that at 35 you could go to Michael Jordan's fantasy basketball camp. I met Fred there too. And um, uh, in that environment, uh, we got to know each other and that was the basis of a relationship which, which ultimately uh, resulted in this transaction and um, we both I do not play basketball like Michael Jordan but we share the passion for basketball I, I grew up playing basketball uh, I've played all my life I've watched it I love the NBA I like to play more than I like to watch but uh, I think that's true of everyone I, it, it is it is the greatest sport in the world and it's been a huge part of my life uh, and uh, I, you know to be able to do this uh, as an owner, obviously I've done it as a minority owner for Atlanta, but to be able to do this uh, as a governor representing the city of Charlotte uh, is incredibly excited, exciting to me. And so, you know, we, can't, we couldn't be more honored to be here. We do appreciate that this is a community asset. We are in partnership with our fans. We're in partnership with the city. Uh, it's our job to be great stewards for, for, for all of you. Uh, and this city and uh, our obligation is to do the best job as we can as stewards and you know we we we, we intend we have a single simple goal uh, which is to create the premier franchise in the NBA uh, and and we, we should have that expectation all of us should have that expectation we will strive to create that for for all of us uh, as we go forward so let me turn it over to Gabe I uh Gabe Plotkin, you know, thank you guys for coming. This is a truly exciting day uh, in, in the beginning of the next chapter uh, for the Charlotte Hornets. Um, you know, first off, I, you know, I just want to thank Michael. I'm going to repeat some of what Rick said, but, you know, I met Michael about five years ago, and, uh, you know, he's been a great partner. And, uh, you know, he's obviously, in my opinion, and probably most, the best basketball player that ever lived. Um, you know, but the other thing is, you know, he's, he, he has tremendous love for the city of Charlotte, uh, for the Charlotte, you know, for the Hornets organization, um, for the, the state of North Carolina, you know, and, and, and for the fans. And I think, you know, one of the things that really stood out to me in, in getting to know Michael was just the respect and admiration he had for, 
you know, all the Hornet employees and the way he treated them. And, and that's certainly something um, that we want to build on and, and, and was very notable. You know, for me, um, you know, I've always been a huge basketball fan. I grew, I grew up in New England. I'm, I'm from Maine, uh, along with Coach Cliff, wherever he is. Um, but my first interaction with the Hornets was, was probably in fifth or sixth grade. Um, the Hornets were new. It was 1988, and everyone had those, you know, those purple and teal starter jackets. And uh, I desperately wanted one. And uh, my parents didn't buy me one. I don't remember why. Um, and I think I'm going to get one now. But the... Uh, it's, uh, you know, that was kind of the first introduction. And, you know, the Hornets, um, they had the best uh, color scheme in the NBA then, and they, they still do today, so I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, the, the next kind of interaction with the Hornets was, was about five years later, and I'm sure Dell remembers it. Um, as a Celtics fan, it, it was when, you know, Alonzo Mourning hit that shot at the top of the key. Um, you know, LJ was on the team and, and Kendall Gill and, and Dell and there's even a, a poster here uh, or a banner here in the arena. And, you know, it was, it was one of the biggest wins in, in franchise history and certainly a very dramatic one to win a playoff series with a walk-off. Um, but it, uh, you know, it's that kind of excitement that we, we want to bring to this organization. You know, we, we look forward to a future with, with many playoff wins and, and we're excited about that. Um, you know, I... Um, you know, when the opportunity came up uh, to, to invest in the Hornets, uh, you know, I got to know a lot more about the city of Charlotte. And, you know, one thing that was really apparent was, was it's a really strong fan base. You know, they love uh, the game of basketball here. I mean, Eric Church canceled the concert so he could watch North Carolina Duke. So, um, I mean, you know, that speaks to how much people here love the game of basketball and they love sports. And, you know, the, the city of Charlotte and, and, and this team, there was a perception at the time this was kind of a bottom five market in the NBA, you know, and, and we thought that was very backward looking. And we think there's been a lot of growth here uh, and the city's really booming. You know, we think ultimately, you know, this is a top 10, 15 franchise in the NBA in terms of attractiveness. And, uh, you know, it's our job to, to produce, you know, a winning basketball team. And I think, you know, for us, um, you know, winning takes a lot of parts. You know, it takes a lot of structure. It takes a lot of process. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, you have to build the right foundation for success. And, you know, we'll be really patient owners. Um, you know, we'll try to position the business for success over the long term, try to make smart decisions. You know, but I think, you know, we want to be great in the, sort of the different components of, of building a good basketball team, whether that's analytics or player development or strategy or sports and performance and I think you know ultimately you know if, if we become great in all those areas uh, it will manifest itself on on the basketball court and we have a great organization you know we got to know a lot of the leaders of the organization back in March a lot of really tenured people um, you know it's it's our goal to to continue to to to, to grow with them you know to attract and, and, and retain you know talent that we have here you know, really build a culture focused on, you know, integrity and teamwork and respect, you know, openness and, and transparency and really desire to win. You know, our, our, our goal here is, is, is to win and, and, and win with, with the people that we have here. And, you know, the final thing that, that I think, you know, this team has done a great job of and, and something we want to continue to do is, is impact the community. You know, we sat down this morning with the head of uh, Swarm to Serve, which, which is our foundation, you know, I think with a, a new incoming, you know, larger ownership group, you know, we have the ability, you know, to grow that organization, to continue to impact the lives, uh, you know, of those in the community who are less fortunate. And it, it's something that we'll be focused on. And, you know, part of the reason that, you know, we really sought out local owners who had a great sense of, of, of what goes on here in, in Charlotte and North Carolina. So we're super excited. We're glad you guys all came here today. And I'll pass it back to Rick. Well, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize Muggsy Bogues here because, you know, Michael Jordan's the greatest player, but Muggsy Bogues is my idol. I mean, the guy is five foot three, and he's just unbelievable if you never watched him play. Anyway, um, look, Charlotte is an incredible sports town. This is a sports town, uh, and, it's a, and it's a basketball state and a basketball town, and, and we get that. And, and, and that is great. And it's great to be uh, involved in a place where there's so much passion for basketball and so much passion for the Hornets. And uh, like I say, we're committed to invest in this franchise, to invest in our arena, 
to invest in our team, uh, to invest in our, facil in, in, the, in our other facilities, to invest in our player development, uh, and, and, and we expect great things. The, the future for our team is bright. We have a great young core, some of whom are here today. Uh, we obviously had a, a couple of draft picks, th both four draft picks this year, three of whom are, are, will be with us this year and, and one who's back in Europe. But uh, and we have some, some talented vets on this team, and obviously last year was a disappointing year for the team. But we, we think the future is bright. We think we have a, a great core of players that we can build around. Uh, we can't wait to get started. Uh, this is just going to be so much fun. So much fun for us, hopefully so much fun uh, for the entire uh, community and the entire fan base. So with that, we will uh, take questions, Del? Yeah, thank you both. We'll take some questions from the media and attendance.